We are live. Hey, good morning. How you doing? And standard thing, everybody, check in. Where are you on planet Earth right now? Also, the Oxbox coffee maker, which I can go ahead and start brewing right now. This is the Oxbox. It's a coffee box, and it's going to make me some coffee. And go. So we're going to announce the winner of a free Oxbox coffee maker, a coffee box, at the end of this video. So make sure you watch all the way to the end, or don't, I don't care. But you've only got 24 hours. The voice you hear is Jared. Yeah, you've only got, once he announces the winner, you've, only, you've got 24 hours to contact us, and you can message us on Facebook since that's where you're watching. Can they message us on Facebook? Yep. Are they allowed? They are allowed. Mark Greyhouse is here. Ooh, hey, Mark Greyhouse, wake morning. up. Hey, can I get a spoon to stir my coffee? Sure. Am I allowed? Are you allowed to leave? No. I'll get you a spoon. You're not allowed to leave. You have to talk. I have to talk. Well, what did we do last night? We well, to see some awesome stuff. We, last night... It actually wasn't as good as I thought. I thought it was better than I thought. See? That's weird. I was all, I was all set to be disappointed. I was a little bit leery and yeah. where's the thing? Toward me? Yeah, all the way up. Like that? There we go. Went to see Captain America Civil War last night. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I was all set to be to be disappointed by it because of this whole like we're gonna change the characters around and make them feel different ways. It's it was still kind of bull crap. I mean, there was some typical Hollywood writer bullcrap that they wrote into it that is pretty far away from reality. But otherwise, pretty good movie. Pretty entertaining. Uh, PG-13, so I guess it's okay to take your kids. It's not Deadpool. Hey, my coffee's done. I brewed a medium cup this time. Now, when you, when you choose, you could use a small, medium, or large cup. And... Uh, Show them your. Show them my. Show them this. I don't think they've seen film. that yet. For those of you who haven't seen, my birthday present. Matt Busby. Matt Busby. Matt Busby of. Aaron Alexander's checking in from Biloxi, Mississippi. So are we. All right. Woo. Giddy up. Ramsey, Minnesota. What? You guys, tag two people that should be watching this. Well, and Matthew, where are we at right now? Matthew Busby's here. We're only at 53. We need to be at 157 what, now. What the heck, guys? Tag, Come on. Tag two people right now in the comments. <coughs> Deadpool rocks. Mm -hmm. Why? Where's Deadpool? Did you say something about Deadpool? Mm -hmm. Okay. You weren't here. What coffee cup are you using? I'm using my CSAT Combat Shooting and Tactics. Also stands for Cultural Sensitivity Awareness Training. Uh -huh. Mm. Montezuma, Ohio. Montezuma, Ohio? Yeah, Brent Amsden. Iowa. Congratulations. I, Ohio? Oh, uh, Ohio, yeah. I think he knows where he lives. Okay, that's weird, but I didn't know there was one there. I know there's one in Iowa because I've that's been where, to That's the, where Brown Elves is. That's right. The thriving metropolis. Clayton Berkland, guess who he tagged? Just guess. Who if he you tagged? Had one guess, yes. What person he tagged? Well, he, he tagged Lauren. Ha <laughs> ha! You're right. <laughs> Uh, do you want to tell them why we're not doing a Periscope? Because Periscope is, is over. Because Periscope's dead. <gasps> it's not dead. I have it. We I have, know you have it. We have like 10 people on there now, like yeah. watching every week. So Facebook's more worth it. 79, 76. We need, we need 100. We're not starting until we have 100. All right. Come on, guys. Come on. It was yesterday. Season, what are you going to talk about? Oh, I wanna, I'm going to talk about living on a life raft. Living on a lifeboat. Why did we go see Civil War last night? Besides the fact that it came out, it was Zach the Shipping Ogre's official birthday. Now, we've been celebrating his birthday all week long. It's been the Zach the Shipping Ogre birth week celebration. But he actually was born yesterday. I know, because I was there. I cut his cord. Yep, I did. Are you enjoying your... Your morning Mountain Dew over there, your Kickstarter. 
the shipping ogre guy? <coughs> yes. Did they catch you off guard? We ready to go? Are you watching it there? What are you uh, doing, Chris? What? I'm making sure that it looks good. We only well, got 80 people. What's going on? Everybody sleeping this morning? Yeah, I guess it, they stayed up last night. Err! They all went and saw Captain. We did. The movie didn't let out until, is what, 0 1 15? Yeah, it was like 1 15. Yeah. I was tired. Do I look like it? This actually is my first cup of coffee this morning. So. Now, uh, if, for those of you, for some strange reason you don't know how we celebrated the, the Shipping Ogre Birth Week, uh, we started it out on Tuesday. We went to the Rob Zombie Disturbed Pop Evil concert here in Biloxi. It was great. It was, woo, it was a rock show. Zach got to meet a rock star. He met Matt Dorito, the bass player of Pop Evil. Thanks to my friend James. So Zach got to meet a rock star for his birthday. And uh, then we went to see the Civil War. And tonight, I'm taking Zach to see Queensryche at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. And you're, uh, James, do you know anybody in Queensryche? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and just uh, in case you guys haven't been, well, you'll, you'll hear on the radio. Well, we did on the grad program. We talked about the grad program. But, uh, yeah, we're going to do an interview. Matt Dorito has a really cool, worthwhile charity uh, that we're going to help him promote. And we're going to talk about guns and rock and roll and stuff like that. He's a gun guy. He likes guns. and He's down with us. He's down with the sickness. Where are we at? All right, we'll go ahead and start. All right. Mmm. Coffee. Recently, I was, uh, while well, I'm working on a new book, I'm working on the Patriot Fire Team Manual, the Team Manual, and I was focusing on the chapter about signaling, and specifically, smoke and pyro. So I was doing research about maritime or marine signaling devices, flares and what have you. I'm doing that, and I come across all this information about various size and styles of lifeboats and life rafts. And so, you know, I read about it and looked at it and so forth. And it got me to thinking, all the big boats, all the big ships, and even little boats, uh, what do they have? Well, they have life-saving devices. They have life rafts or life boats or what have you. And a lifeboat is a good thing. A life raft is a good thing. The ship goes down, you jump in there, and you float. What is a life raft equipped to do? Basic life-saving or life-preserving. That's what it's for. The lifeboat... Does the lifeboat have a motor? Well, you're like, oh, no, I was on the ship and it had a, a, a boat. It's like, no, that, you're talking about a launch. A launch has a motor and a rudder and so forth, a steering wheel. Uh, a lifeboat is rudderless. A lifeboat's not designed to go, and it doesn't have an engine. So when you're in a lifeboat, you're in a life raft, you're just existing. You're bobbing around. You're waiting for someone to come do something. You're waiting for someone to rescue you. You can't really, I mean, I guess sometimes they have the little tiny paddles and you can paddle, but for the most part, if you're in a lifeboat, if you're in a life raft, you're just bobbing along on the waves, waiting for something good to happen. Waiting for someone to come and rescue you. Waiting for something to happen. How many of you out there right now are living your life like you're in a life raft or living like you're in a lifeboat. You don't have an engine, you don't have an, a, uh, a keel, a rudder, a wheel, you're not heading in a specific direction. You're just kind of floating along. Now when you're in a lifeboat, especially the really super cool G Wiz ones, what do they have? Well, you, you pop them open and you climb up in and they have sustainment food, they have emergency water, they might even have little space blankets you can wrap up in. So you can stay alive in a lifeboat. But that's all you're doing, is you're just existing. You're not doing anything positive. You're not moving forward. You're not heading in a direction. You're just kind of going wherever the waves take you. And what I'm going to ask you today, examine your life, examine your business, examine where it is you are as a person right now on planet Earth. And ask yourself, are you living in a lifeboat? Are you living in a life raft where you're just existing? 
You don't really have a goal. You're not really heading anywhere. I mean, you make enough money to stay alive. You make enough money to keep you know, the bill collectors at bay. Uh, but are you achieving anything? Are you, you have goals to reach success? Or are you just bombing along in the waves? And that's something you're going to have to answer to yourself. Now, you might be like, Neil, get out of here, bro. I'm rocked on. Good job. Good job. The next thing you have to think about is, well, if I'm in a lifeboat and I'm just bobbing along, what is my plan going to be for success? How am I going to actually get some direction in my life? And that's going to be what we're going to talk about next week on The Morning Mindset. So right now, gut check. Think about it. Ask yourself, am I just living in a lifeboat? Am I just existing? Or do I have goals or am I moving forward? And that's it, kids. That's it for Morning Mindset. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, quick, quick, quick uh, homework assignment. Go to studentofthegun.com. Super simple. You can do it on your phone, do it on your laptop, do it on whatever. I don't care. Click the, the orange button that says 7 Training Tips. You get them for free, start looking at them, and so forth. Yes, we have a television show. Yes, we have a radio show. It amazes me. We ran into people last week at the Concealed Carry Expo. They're like, oh, man, I watch your thing that you do on Facebook on Friday mornings. We're like, were you listening to the radio show? You have a radio show, too? Yeah, we have a radio show, too. Jared, where is it? It's on iTunes. It's on Stitcher. It's on Podcast Gallery. It's on Google Play. Google Play, yeah. What time does it come on? It, it come, it's on now. It's on demand, 24 hours a day, worldwide. What about the TV show? TV show, Roku Player. 24-7, Amazon Fire TV, 24-7, very, very soon, Apple iTV, iTunes, Apple, Apple TV, Apple TV, Apple iTunes TV, <laughs> Apple TV, very soon, hopefully by the time we go to NRA. And we will have it up on the website, studentofthegun.com, in the and, future, which there probably will be a premium to pay to watch, so. But, uh, all right, so that's that, get a hat and that'd be that, and Jared, who is going to be the lucky recipient now we're giving away three, and this is the first one. The first, the first winner is Moses Hedging, and he has thirty days. I mean, not thirty days, twenty-four hours. <laughs> not thirty. Oh, I haven't even had coffee yet. Twenty-four hours to contact us. You can either email info at studentofthegun.com. And the reason he's the winner is because he watches the morning mindset and he shares it with two people religiously. So there you go. All right, congratulations, Moses. Peace out. We're going to go do some radio for you hippies. So we've got a couple questions mm. um, that if you're living in a lifeboat, we actually had one dude say that he was living in a lifeboat with a few holes and he has a coffee cup to scoop the water out with. <laughs> so do you have, what, what do you recommend doing for, to, to get out of the lifeboat or patch the holes? Well, that's what we're going to talk about next time. Okay. You can't tease him a little bit with one I'll thing. tease him a little bit next time. How many, how many things do you have that you're going to talk about? Do you know? Three? So give him one today. All right. One of them. It is going to be assessment. First, you assess, all right, which we're doing right now. Assess, and then establish realistic goals. So, do you you establish risk control and then and then pull out your establish gun? risk control? Pull it again. Okay, so realistic goals, and that's what we want you to do right now. Is type one realistic goal in the comments below. Thank you very much for joining us, and uh, we will talk to you again very very soon. Tag two people and share this.